The water park at the Grand at Moon Palace is one of the biggest draws of this resort. So in this video, I'm going to give you a quick walking tour and give you some really useful information and tips about the water park. And if you're new to our channel, Three Days and Trace Noches brings you real, honest, to the point reviews and information about the travel destinations that we go to. So please like and subscribe so we can keep this content coming. So the first thing to note is that there are some age and height requirements for the slides. So for the larger slide, you have to be 12 years old and at least 62 inches tall. And then for the other larger slides, you have to be 10 years old and at least 47 inches tall. Now, the last two times we're there, the larger slide was closed. And a lot of com people complain at times that they close things randomly. So that's one thing to take note of as well. So the very first thing you see when you walk in is the Lazy River. So they have a pretty large lazy river. It goes around the perimeter of the playroom, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, but it's just a standard basic lazy river. So there's no water features or tunnels or anything like that. Also, there were not enough inner tubes to go around. So that's why you see people just kind of swimming in it. So you kind of had to wait for the inner tubes in order to use one. So off to the right here is the smaller splash area for toddlers. So they have a lot of different slides and water features. So it's small enough where you can keep track of your child, but large enough to keep them entertained. They do have a few towel stations um, in the water park and you do not have to give your room number or anything like that. So you can have as many towels as you need. Then behind the splash area for the smaller kids is the aqua park, which is really designed for a little bit older, I would say maybe six years and up, a child that could navigate stairs up and down without any assistance.
Another great thing about the water park is that there's plenty of seating, also plenty of umbrellas um, so you can have some shade. They also provide poolside service. You can order right from your chair and they have food. They have, you know, basic grill food, which is great when you're there for the day. And they have several bars as well for the adults. Then directly behind the aqua park is the game area. So if the kids get tired of the water slides, they wanna do something else, they come back to this area and they have some games and they actually have a full mini golf course. And it's all included, so you do not have to pay anything extra if you are staying at the Grands. Now, if you're staying over at the Moon Palace, you do have to buy a daily pass to the Grand, which is $100 for adults. I think it's $70 for kids. So that does get you into the water park for the day. Also gives you access to all of the restaurants, everything at the Grand for the day, including this area, the game area. You can also rent bikes in this area. So they have sizes for adults and kids. You can rent them up for two hours at a time from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So you can take a ride over to the Moon Palace, have a family bike ride, or just a solo ride, just to explore the resort a little bit. And here we met the two awesome activity coordinators, Camille and Albert, who explained everything to us. And they also host daily activities like face painting and things like that. So there's always something for the kids to do.
So now let's head to the other side of the water park and we're gonna start here where there's the playroom which sits right in the middle of the water park. And I was so amazed by all of the services that they offer here. Now this playroom that sits right in the middle of the water park is a huge draw for family, something I wish I knew about when my kids were little because they have three different areas for kids. They have an area for kids that are babies to three years old, and then another area for kids that are four to seven years old. Now in this area, they must be accompanied by an adult. But then they have another area, the big playroom, which is, they call it a recreation interactive room where kids from eight to 17 years old um, can come in and out as they please. And it's, um, you don't need to be present. The adults don't need to be there to watch them. They have people watching your children and you can even leave the water park. So um, it's a great, great draw, as I said, for families, especially just to get some time if you want to drop your kids off if they're old enough. You will also see here over to the left that they have a wave pool. It was not operating that the day that we took this footage. I'm not sure why, um, but again, that has happened a few times where some of the attractions have been closed or not operating. Now I know I already mentioned the age and height requirements and that applies to these slides over here. So the first time that we went, I didn't realize that there were requirements and my son was very disappointed because he couldn't go on these larger slides and he was very annoyed. So just keep that in mind. The other thing, now that he's older though, he's almost 16, we did go here just one day, but he pretty much got bored after you know a short time. So. I think for like the older kids, like 16 and up, it could get boring. This is perfect for, I would say 11 to 13, 14, they're gonna have a ball. Another tip about the water park is to go um, off hours. So a lot of people go right when it opens. Um, I think it opens at 9 a.m. But we always wait until later in the afternoon. So I would say like around three o'clock because it closes at six. And that way, you know, um, families with younger kids have taken their kids back for naps or whatever. And you pretty much have the water park to yourself. So there's not as many long lines that you're waiting in to go down the slides. Also, if it does rain one day and they keep the water park open, it's actually a great day to go to the water park. One is you don't have to worry about sunburn because that Mexican sun can be really hot. And as a mom trying to keep up with sunscreen when they're in the water can be difficult. And a lot of people won't be there. So, you know, maybe even save this for one of those rainy days if you happen to have one while you're here. Now this is one of two flow riders that they have on property. They have this one and another one over at Moon Palace Sunrise, which you have full access to if you're staying at the Grand. And the height requirement is 42 inches to try the flow rider. And again, it's a great draw for those older kids for something to do. 